got no any alert and nothing. People living and working in Bainbridge were completely caught off guard when a tornado came out of nowhere. That storm ripped off a roof and sent trees crashing down. Now, thankfully, nobody was hurt. Glad you're with us on Midday. I'm Brian Jackson, joined by First Alert meteorologist Reed Liebarger. Now, Reed, the National Weather Service just announced that it was, in fact, a tornado. Can you walk us through a little bit what that determination process looks like? Yeah, so the National Weather Service survey teams just completed their preliminary survey about half an hour ago, and they said that it was an EF zero with max winds of 80 miles per hour. You'll get an official report later on, but they have to go out there and survey that damage and see what kind of structural damage it does to areas in Bainbridge. Right now, a low end tornado, but a tornado nonetheless. That happened just after 3 p.m. yesterday afternoon. You can see that kind of weak couplet on the southwest side of Bainbridge, and it dissipated just to the northeast of town less than 10 minutes later. Not even enough time for it to get a warning. So that low end severe threat when we talk about the potential for brief weak tornadoes, that was it yesterday afternoon. You did see some of those damage videos out of southwest Georgia. We do have that threat in our forecast again for today. Here's a check at your satellite radar loop over the past hour. We've got storms in that same area to the west of the Flint and Apalachicola River through Jackson County. Mariana seeing some pockets of heavy rainfall. We've got some rain working up through parts of Seminole, Miller, and Decatur counties as well. We're going to be seeing that kind of scattered activity continue to fill in from west to east through the day. Storm Prediction Center has issued a marginal risk for us here in the Big Bend in southern Georgia. There will be a higher end threat further north through central Georgia as those storms work north with the daytime heating. The atmosphere destabilizes and those storms can strengthen. So we're going to be seeing that again. Weak, brief tornado threat through the remainder of your afternoon with isolated severe storms possible and that warm and humid feel that's been with us all week sticking around through New Year's. Next week, a big time cool down to talk about. I've got all your first alert forecast details coming up in about 10 minutes.